time today to talk about how I went from stage three back cancer to feeling the healthiest, the fittest I've ever been. Uh, it's been, it's going to be four years in March uh, this year. But I really want to talk about from my own experience. Um, yesterday, uh, Joe made a really important comment on my post about, you know, how we have so many conflicting ideas and, you know, diets and the best way to go about this, the best way to go about that. Um, and there is a lot. And I've spent probably the whole entire chemotherapy treatment just reading about nutrition to the point that now, um, you know, I have read, you know, what, what, what there is. I'm not saying that I know it all, but for me, it's very much, I am my living proof of what I am doing. Um, and also, you know, all of my clients that have embraced the changes that I have guided them through, they have felt more energy, uh, you know, more health, more um, physical and mental energy, uh, more emotional balance. So I speak from my own experience, from the experience that I have seen what happens in people's lives because I have guided them through it. So you know, there is going to be conflicting um, uh, ideas and how to go about things. But the most important thing, it is really, you know, when you're doing something to ask yourself, am I waking up full of energy? Am I ach achieving, you know, the goals that I want to achieve? Which means, you know, am I feeling physically strong and, and healthy and full of energy? You know, am I feeling mentally strong and, and healthy and full of energy because diet does only impact your physical body, but it also impacts your mental and emotional body. So unless the answer is yes to that question, I would say, you know, it's best that you listen to the, the you know, this video and take what it serves you and leave behind what you don't want to do or you don't believe in it or whatever it is. But I think that there is this, um, uh, you know, idea of, you know, like I just need to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing because, you know, I believe this and I've read this and I've read that. The reality is if it's not working, you need to change. And I think that is really, really important. And when I say when it's not working, it means, you know, I always ask people, you know, like, have you been doing this particular change consistently? And more often than not, the answer is no, you know, because the consistency is where the problem is. Uh, so, you know, if you're saying, oh, I'm doing, you know, this diet and that diet, but you haven't been consistent, there is no even point in talking about it because you don't know if it works or not. I have been doing, you know, the same, if anything, you know, I just keep improving um, everything that I do for four years. I eat cleaner now than I ate uh, during chemo. Uh, and all the changes that I've made, they have impacted massively on my physical health and they still do. Uh, you know, like my last colonoscopy showed that I didn't have any polyps. That was a massive win, a win that the doctors never thought um, it was going to happen. They never guide me through that. They just told me like, you know, you, you just bad luck, you have polyps. Uh, and I kept really focusing and refining everything that I was doing and I got an amazing result and they don't want to see me for five years, which is, again, I didn't expect that, you know, for somebody like myself who had been diagnosed with cancer so young, they told me we're going to monitor you very closely uh, because, you know, that what you had was really seriously. And, you know, I didn't really think that they were going to give me, uh, you know, the five years in between colonoscopy and they did because of the state of my bowel. So, there is a lot of information, but I'm going to try to keep it simple so you can already take action and apply on your day-to-day -day life. So I think the first thing is uh, when it comes to diet, it is, um, you know, changing eating habits. I don't like the use, to use the word diet. You need to do one change at a time if you want to make it sustainable. Guys, diets do not work. You know, you probably, you know, have seen people around you trying to lose weight for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, doing this diet, that diet, that, this book, that book. Diets don't work. You know, if you just Google it, you'll say 98% of diets don't work. You know, diets don't work. What it works is a consistent way of eating. So unless you can make a change that you can commit to consistently, there is no point in changing. Right. So I would start with one change at a time. That's how I did it. And that's what I guide my clients to do it. 
you know, otherwise it becomes overwhelming. After two days, you don't do anymore. After a week, you don't do anymore. And you just kind of give everything up, right? So I think if you stick to one change at a time, it's a very, very important, right? Now, the second thing when it comes to diet is, is really letting go of things that are in packages, right? Things that are in packages are full of additives, e this, e that, sugar. There is sugar in everything, in like in ninety percent of the supermarket. You know, whether it's savory or not savory, there is sugar in everything. Um, you know, there is chemicals. So. When you look at this, most people say to me like, oh, well, I haven't got time to cook. I haven't got time to, um, you know, to prepare things. So you're basically saying I haven't got time for myself. Like that is bottom line what it is, guys. Unless you've got, you know, money to get a chef on board, you know, you better get a start, start getting, um, getting used to the idea that unless you in packages, and, and I think that is a really important uh, part of diet these days. You know, uh, I remember when I lived in the UK, there was an enormous amount of things in the supermarket, you know, packaged food and, and already ready meals and things like that. But, you know, we're talking about even things like, uh, <laughs> hi, John, so I can see your comment. Thank you so much for letting me know um, about the video. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, pick it up from when I left off. Uh, and I will um, just keep going. I left this here, so I know what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. So, so letting letting go of things that are in packages. Like I said, you know, like people talk, people get really, you know, frustrated about it because they think like, oh my god, you know, cooking from scratch is so hard, and I don't have time, and I don't have, you know, um, I can't cook. I hate cooking. You know, like look, guys, I never like cooking. I never liked cooking. I come from Brazil uh, and, you know, I had maids in Brazil, you know, like people cooking for me. Um, and I'm actually quite ashamed to say that because I never learned how to cook. And I think that it's a very important skill to learn in life. Uh, because when you don't know how to cook and when you get to, you know, living by yourself, it becomes really difficult, it becomes really hard. And today, you know, when you look at, you know, cheap and fast food is cheaper than actually cooking at home and buying vegetables and buying good food. But, you know, it's again, it's a whole mindset shift, you know, like, do you want to be eating package of foods where you literally you know all you're eating is additives, eat this, eat that, you know, when you look at the ingredients or things that are ready, you know, prepared, you know, like sauces, you know, like, you know, boiling your sauce, curry sauces, all this stuff that is sold in the supermarket, you know, like mayonnaise, you know, like uh, tomato sauce, all of it is full of added stuff that it doesn't serve your body. And the issue we have these days is that we are constantly eating this stuff and it's building up in our bodies and our bodies just like trying to like run this marathon without any water, any energy, because the body is taking a long time to is spending all this time trying to detox from all this crap. So, the quicker you start change your mindset about that, then, you know, again, one change at a time, I'm going to cook one meal a week, you know, from scratch, I'm going to get one recipe, an easy recipe, and I'm just going to cook that, you know, and I think that it goes very much in line with that, you know, instead of saying like, you know, I'm going to go from eating out seven days a week to eating, um, you know, to cooking for seven, seven days a week, that is unrealistic. But it is realistic if you say to yourself, I am going to start cooking for myself and I'm going to cook one meal a week. And then next week I'm going to cook two meals. And next week I'm going to quick cook three meals. So then things start becoming a little bit more automatic for you, a bit easier for you, and it's more manageable for you, right? So basically everything that is in packages these days, like, like as, as I was saying, is full of chemicals, you know, like additives, things that preservatives, uh, you know, sugar and savory things, you know, like when I remember the first time I went to the supermarket after being at home during chemo, I was overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, everything in the supermarket is just full of crap, you know, because all the packages and you look at the ingredients, it's just, you know, it's terrifying what we are putting in our bodies. You know, I was, I, I've been working with somebody who is really knowledgeable and now he started sending me this stuff that, you know, he's been eating and, um, 
you know things like hummus and you know as you know he said angelica it's really incredible that you know i thought that i was eating making good choices but there is so much stuff that is added that i could make better choices all of those little bits guys it counts massively once your body doesn't have to be on overdrive trying to detox from all this crap your body can go back to balance and do what it needs to do right so you know things and I, and I mentioned on on the video without sound you know things about like you know people think like what about sweets i really need to eat something sweet you know yeah yeah i agree with that you know like we need energy we need um we need sweet things in life you know i don't think that everybody should just you know people you know there's a lot of people that are scared of fruit you know like i'm not scared of fruit i read so much about fruit and i think that fruit there is lots of important enzymes and nutrition that i didn't want to miss out on it feeds my garden my gut garden you know the gut works best when it's got variety on it not one thing so i wouldn't eat five bananas if you think about the soil you wouldn't just put potassium on the soil you just put potassium and you put a little bit more of this than the other so you create this you know i'm not a garden so i don't know but you so you create this variety so the microorganism starts growing and feeding the soil and becoming this really a uh, healthy ecosystem it's the same thing in our gut you know if all you're giving it's one thing including a healthy thing if all you all you eat is bananas is not good for you so it's important to get this variety so once you start you know for example you know you can make your own biscuits you know you can eat your own cakes you know yeah it's more work but you know think about how are you living right now do you have enough energy to do the things that you want are you dependent on medication are you getting out of bed exhausted already it's your choice do you want to live like this or not because food is your fuel food saved me like food saved me i wouldn't be here today without food i was eating a high fat high sugar plus alcohol diet no i wasn't an alcoholic when i got to emergency you know the doctor asked me like so so how many alcohol units do you drink a day a week and i said oh probably like six or eight. Oh yeah that's normal i know now that is not something that serves my body and i chose not to do that anymore i'm not here to judge you but all i'm saying to you is once i start getting clarity what happens when the food goes inside my body it takes our our liver three hours to detox from one unit of alcohol after what i have been through what i had gone through with the chemo i didn't want to do that anymore it's your choice it always goes back to asking yourself that question you know how do i want to live every day because few food is your fuel there is no other things that it's going to help you to get physical energy right so it's like a car right like if you give your car crap fuel what's going to happen your car will eventually break down and this is what people are doing day in day out and they're saying oh, this is living unless i'm eating a high fat high sugar plus alcohol i'm not living what it is like what is it living i know what it is dragging myself out of bed every single day exhausted to get to work i know what it's like to get into work and can't wait to drink a glass of beer so i could just forget about my day i know that that is not living for me I make different choices and that's not how I live today and that's not how I choose to live today and and how I went from that to this it was from making one change at a time letting go of things that were in packages so I started making my own biscuits I started making my own treats if you like protein bowls and things like that if you want my menu you can comment below and I can send you my menu so I think it's that whole thing taking back the responsibility you know the biscuits i make you can't eat 10 of them because they're full of goodness they're nutritious they're he they're heavy you know the the ones that you buy in the supermarket you can easily eat all of them because they're made for you to do that they're made for you to get addicted to them it's full of sugar i mean when i when i looked at a package once there was not even chocolate in it it was a chocolate biscuit i'm like how is this even possible so letting go of things that are in packages slowly again one change at a time is very very important because the package is full of chemicals and you don't want to have that in your body and the third one reduce the amount of animal protein and introduce more fruits and vegetables when i look back at my life i ate an 
more animal protein than anything else in my diet. You know, I used to wake up and maybe drink a shake um, with milk. Uh, and at lunch, I would maybe eat leftovers, which had an animal pro protein and very few vegetables. And at dinner, I would just eat meat um, six times a week and I would eat lots of cheese. So it left me very little space and let little time to eat vegetables and fruits. So I wasn't, I was eating too much of one thing, which was animal, pro, animal protein, which is very high in inflammation levels. And this is why people are getting so many issues with chronic disease. When you have a high inflammation in your body, you get, you know, diabetes, cancer, arthritis, autoimmune diseases, and the list goes on. I had gestational diabetes when I was pregnant of my second daughter. I know exactly what it is like to live. I, I had to go on a very, very strict diet. I had a baby inside of me. If I ate wrong things, they told me you're damaging your baby. Your baby can be born with diabetes. I had to prick myself before each meal and after each meal. I was on metformin. I know exactly what it is. And I, and I, and I know that I would probably had gestational diabetes with my first one as well, because my, my first one was almost 10 pounds. It was 4.2, you know, he was 4.2 kgs and he was growing like crazy. And they said, there's no way you can push this baby out. So, you know, all of those was, all of those things were happening and I, I was still trying to live my life. High fat, high sugar and alcohol and I didn't change anything. So no wonder why I got the stage three back cancer diagnosis because I kept putting just the bad few inside my body. There was one component, you know, like there, there is other components in my cancer diagnosis for sure, but the diet, it was a third of it for sure. So when you look at it, so if you're eating too much of one thing, you're eat, eat off balance. You know, people are eating bacon in the morning, they're eating burgers at lunch and they're eating sausages for dinner. It's too much. And it leaves them very little time and opportunity to eat veggies and fruit. I used to eat maybe one piece of fruit a day. Now I eat, I don't know, three or four. I don't, I don't, I, I eat whatever I want. I just don't eat one thing of the same thing. You know, I don't eat five bananas. I eat a banana, I eat an apple. I eat a lot. I eat all the time, but I eat the right, th the right things. And you know, when I look back at my life, I think like, Okay, do I want to go back to this? You know, is this like what living life is? You know, I have never had so much energy and I'm 42. You know, people love blaming their age and their this and their that. You know, I don't actually remember having this amount of energy when I was in my 20s. Why would I want to go back there? You know, it really comes down to, to the mindset, to what do you want to do? You know, and look, there is no right or wrong answer. But once you make a decision, you need to live with the consequences of your decision. Bottom line, that's what it is. So I made a decision, you know, I didn't want, the, I didn't want to have low energy. I didn't want to be sick again. And I know it's very hard to comprehend if you haven't been sick, right? Like if you, um, you know, haven't been dependent on doctors, on medication, if you haven't had to go to the hospital every other week like I did. It's hard to comprehend, especially if you're young, because you don't think you're going to get sick. I didn't think I was going to get sick. I just thought, you know, my body can just take it. Like, why is my, why, why am I tired? I should have more energy. And then before you know, it's like, oh my God, yeah, maybe I'm getting old. And then you accept that, oh, maybe it's just this, it's just that. And you keep accepting those things when in reality, you could, everybody can do something about it. So once you really go through this, there is more, is more changes, one change at a time. Again, if you're going from seven days a week meat, I wouldn't go six days vegetarian because that's too much of a change. It's not gonna be sustainable. You're gonna miss me too much. You know, it's gonna be too much out of whack for you and you're gonna be like, I don't like this. Just ease yourself into it, make things, changes that are sustainable for you, that are doable for you, that you can commit to really keep going. That is the key. In, in, in really creating a healthy, healthy lifestyle. Because the, the way that we live these days, it doesn't promote that. You know, fast food, cheap food, it's all, all cheaper than 
than good foods for us, the nutrition's food for us. You know, you go to the supermarket, you know, uh, a pack of uh, biscuits is cheaper than if you buy, you know, two apples. Or a mango is cheaper than, uh, a, a mango is more expensive than a pack of biscuits. So what people do, you know, they go, they go for, they go for the, the pack of biscuits. And what happens is, you know, it, it, it is crazy. It's like, you know, people do everything they can, you know, to buy, you know, nice clothes and a nice mobile phone and a nice car and a nice this and like that and a nice material thing. And they're spending the least amount of money they can on food. And they expect a good result. Now, wouldn't your life be better if you start spending, you know, the most amount, all the, the money you have on good food, so you're giving your body, like, good fuel, so you can start feeling more energy, and you have, perhaps, a mobile phone that is not the latest. You know, you don't have to buy clothes every five minutes that you don't even wear. I don't know. I think it's a value thing. Unless you start valuing your body, your health, things are not going to change. You know, it's the whole thing about time. I haven't got time to cook for myself. Then you're saying to yourself, I don't value my health. Because when you look at your life right now, you probably have an area of your life that you value so much that it's going right. And if your health is not one of them, it's because you're not valuing enough. I know that I have been there. I'm, I'm, I talk about my own experience. I know exactly how it goes. You keep saying to yourself, I don't have time, you know, I, I can't do this, or this is too hard, while you're, you know, like your work is going really well, where you're working all the time, and you're achieving your work, everything is going great. Unless you start having some hard conversations with yourself and start asking yourself some hard questions, if you are in a place where you don't want to be in your health, in your physical and your emotional health, you know, nothing is going to change. I had somebody, yes, I think it was yesterday, contacted me saying, um, hey, Angel, how's it going? I said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm doing great. And I, you know, how are you doing? You know, I see you're a coach as well. And I, I, didn't, I didn't really understand if he was a coach in health or in business. I didn't understand because he was talking about health in his feed. And he said, oh, um, I said, oh, are you interested in health? And he said, yeah, I'm interested, but I haven't really got time at the moment to focus on that. Uh, but yeah, help people with their businesses and with their health as well. And I was just thought, how can you help people with their health if you are not looking after health? Like, th this is the insanity of the world that we live in these days, guys. Like, I come here and I speak about my own experience, everything that nobody can take this away from me. I have lived through this. I have had that mindset. You know, let's just buy, you know, the cheapest food that we can find. You know, and another thing with animal protein is that, like, if you're buying the cheapest animal pro product you can find, all you're eating is antibiotics and hormones, which is feeding cancer inside, cancer cells inside of you, feeding, you know, the inflammation is feeding all sorts of different problems. You can only, you know, I believe that there is a Netflix a documentary list in this uh, group, if you go into guides, uh, and you can watch how there is plenty of documentaries showing how they are farming animals uh, these days. Once you watch that, I don't know if you can eat cheap meat anymore. You might be able to, but, you know, the, the, the decision needs to come from a place where, you know, this, we come to this world with a temple. Like, what my body has done for me is just incredible. It's just out of this world. What I see my clients doing after like two weeks of changing a few bits, the, the body recovering, the body, the body getting to balance, it's incredible. By doing this, you're going to feel so much change. Even if you abuse your body for 20 years. But, you know, by doing nothing, nothing is going to change. So it needs to really come from this changing mindset, you know, like, you know, living these days, oh yeah, I've got to, you know, eat all the crisps and salami and ham and cheap food and barbecues and and the sweets and the ice cream and the biscuits where you need to ask yourself where is that leading you to i speak to people like quite often that this is in they are on an express train to have no very good result because of the food that they're eating 
you know like there is you know some people i don't know maybe some people like hope for the best maybe i did I, you know in actual fact i did too you know i never thought in a million years i was going to get sick so you need to ask yourself some you know if you want to change your the the way you feel like how you wake up in the morning you know how you feel during the day that you don't have this like deep sin energy you know i don't have any of this like i don't you know i my, my energy is constant during the day and i do a lot you know i i do a lot i work i have two kids i have a husband i have a puppy you know i work a lot there is no like this in my energy levels but i respect my body i make choices every single day i see food as medicine as sacred because food was sacred to me food healed my body after all the chemotherapy the surgeries and everything that i went through so think about those you know you can take action on those things this week tomorrow today you know just like get one recipe a week to cook you know that's keeping one change at a time you no know, change a pack of biscuits that you buy to a piece of fruit you know try to cook it, to cook a vegetarian meal or, or a plant-based meal you know if you want my menu like i said you know just just comment below and i can send that to you you know and if you want a plan to follow you know that my last challenge was perfect you know people that have followed that they felt a different after a week i've i'm working with somebody who signed up with me after the challenge and we didn't meet for four weeks and he had already implemented all the changes he said angelica i just feel already so much better it's incredible so you know really the the reality is is that stop looking for a quick fix a magic pill out there something that is going to get you a quick result and start asking yourself some questions you know what can i do today what can i do now that it's going to be sustainable that i can keep up consistently that that will impact on how i feel the choice is yours guys thank you so much for uh being here apologies about the uh the video and if you have any questions uh please comment below i'll be more than happy to answer them and i'll speak to you guys soon take care